And then what I love is with the product in it, it makes it a good volume without being overly sticky. And it's just a great summer look. It looks effortless and goes with just about anything. So, yeah. Hey guys, good to see you guys again. Okay, so people always ask me about these really um, beach waves that I tend to do with my hair. My hair is really long, and to me, it's one of the fastest things that you can do during the summertime. Uh, if you have long hair, or just to kind of get that beachy wave. Um, my hair is a little bit thinner, so it's not as thick as maybe some girls. However, my hair is super long. Um, thank you, prenatals, for this long, beautiful hair. Something to keep in mind, every girl's uh, hair texture is different. So you might have thinner hair like me, which means you'll be able to curl it faster, or you have thick, coarse hair, so you might have to take smaller sections and use a different kind of curling iron or barrel size to get that beachy wave look. Just know, it's not a one size fits all. Everyone has beautiful hair that is just so different in length and again, texture that you're gonna wanna do what works for you. So I'm just doing what works for me. So here we go. So what I do is I have, I'm using my wand and I will put in the description who my wand is by, but I got it at, um, I think it was Marshall's and I love this wand. I use it for weddings, for events, when I do hair and makeup. This thing is my go-to, and I believe the wand size, I wanna say is an inch. Yeah, it's about an inch. So again, I'll put that in the description below. But I just turned this on, it was really inexpensive. And then you, it comes with a glove, which definitely you're gonna wanna use because it hurts. When it burns, yeah. So, okay, my glove on, I use it on this hand because I wand with my right hand. And so what I do also is I split my hair in two. I crown up a section off my crown like this because it gives you more volume when you do that because the curls just kind of lay on top of each other. So I always section it off. Do a little thing right here. It's gonna take a clip and go right it. So it stays up. Hopefully you guys can see this back up a little bit. Little shirt. And then I section into two, just like that. All right, now here I go. Then I just take, starting from the back, I just take some small sections that I just feel are um, thin enough, maybe about an inch, and then I just wrap it around, one, two, three, about three times for my hair, and then see the end, I leave it out. One, two, three, see, because I want that beachy look, and I don't want that prom look. So hold out the section just enough so that way it's straight. You're gonna, I hold it here, I count to maybe five once I roll it around the barrel. And then I, you know, kind of see, it kind of comes out like that. And see the end is out. So they're gonna start looking like this. Just toss it over, grab another small section. Whatever works for you to get your hair. I hold it in my hand just a little bit because then the heat, as it cools down, will keep the shape. And you're just gonna keep doing this all the way around. You can go as high up as you want, as low as you want. One, two, three, four, that's four. Again, I just go, I just do it, um, I try to stay consistent, but it doesn't matter if you don't in how many um, times you wrap it around the lawn because you want that messy, beachy, unkempt look. So it doesn't really matter. Again, you're not going for prom. You are going for fun, sassy, sexy, whatever you want it to look like. And then another thing too to think about is when you wrap your hair on the lawn, you can um, wrap it going away from your face or towards your face. Again, the great thing about this look is it gives it a messy tousled look so you don't have to be so concerned about am I curling it the right way? Am I making enough rounds? It's up to you, however high you want these curls. See, I'm now I'm putting it away from my face. I wrapped it away from my face. Section's too thick. It takes 
a lot longer to curl and uh, it's not gonna look as nice. It's not gonna look as possible. Now I'm going to do the top section. And foot. Keep it straight down the middle so that way there's, uh, there's some kind of evenness to my hair. section of the top part, you see that little section right there? You can kind of see through a little bit so it makes it a little thin. And then when I do the top, I start putting the curling iron behind, curl away. And I start at the very closest to my head as possible. And I count um, and try to do my ends last on top. So one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll do another section. One, two, three. I'll just do another section. One, two, three. The very end. And the reason why I do that is because the ends tend to be more dry and they're a little more healthy. So I don't want them to sit as long on the curling iron. Okay. Love it. Okay, another section on top. It's nice and thin. You can see it. Again, put the curling iron behind. because I don't have to clamp and then, you know, flip and try curling my hair and twisting and clamp and, oh my god, this is just so much easier. So the wand is my best friend. This is my finger to section off my hair, just if you're wondering what I'm doing. With short hair, to do the clamp, with, um, the clamping iron, uh, iron, 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 curling iron, because you don't, you can't hold the hair with your fingers because it's short, so you need something to clamp it to. So I get that. All right. So now, oof, you see that. Then what I do is I go in with my. Well, first I turn my head upside down and I loosen my waves. finger tossels. Then I go in with my dark shampoo, put through my hair, cover my face. Don't want to ruin that makeup. Flip over the other side. Pull up through my hair. The reason why I have to do that is because mine's tinted, so I gotta cover my face. I'm gonna put some of the base of my crown right here. Then I take my lovely hairspray and I spritz just a little bit near my roots. Not too much. This stuff ooh, this will make your hair stick till next week. And then wherever you want it to part, I think today I'll do a little cute side part. I take my hair, then I spritz the mid. Voila! So there you've got, can you guys see it? These messy, just, you can call them beach waves, you can call them summer waves, whatever you want but it's just an easy way for your hair to look amazing and uh, quickly get out of the door, but it looks like you did your hair, spent some time. And then what I love is with the product in it, it makes it, uh, gives you volume without being overly sticky, and it's just a great summer look. It looks effortless, 
and it goes with just about anything. So, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me, and I hope you enjoy these summer waves. Uh, let me know if you try it out. You know, leave a comment below of what you would like to see. Maybe there's a hairstyle you've been curious about and you want to know how to do it. Uh, or if you have any kind of questions on the products that I use. Other than that, you guys have an amazing day. Uh, love you, friends, and I'll see you soon. Bye!